right, boys, we're back. We're at the December 1st uh, checkpoint that we usually simulate up to, and we're 15-8-2, and two, but we're a weird simulation team so far. We started off 6-1-1, one, and one, and then we lost a bunch in a row. Then we win, more like, three more in a row or four more in a row, and then we lose, like, three in a row. So we can't get any momentum going here. So before I make any adjustments to the lines, I want to go a little bit farther up because we should be a good team, man. I mean, 99 for offense, 100 for defense, 88 for goaltending. We should be a good team. I hate all these, like, these losses that just accumulate in a row. Like, look at this. Two losses in a row now. Come on. Scouting assignment. Let's send them back. Let's send them back to the WHL. Yeah, we're going to keep scouting the WHL there. But yeah, let's simulate all the way. Let's go to the trade, not the trade deadline, the all-star break here. Come on, don't lose in a row. Get some wins. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. We should be a good team here. Come on, there you go. Okay, get some wins. Don't lose more than two in a row. It's so freaking annoying. Get some wins. We have such a good team. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't understand it. Now our first line can't do anything. I mean, it gets left in Giroux. You guys had great seasons last year. Was it all because Phil the Thrill was on your right side? Grigorenko's not helping you guys out now? Because now Phil the Thrill has 17 goals. I mean, I don't know what it is about that right wing, that second line right wing spot. And look at this, five games in one week? Holy crap, back to back to back? Come on, boys, get a lot of points out of this week. Holy crap. Come on, can we win another one? Ah, I couldn't win it. That would have been sweet three, uh, three in a row like that. What kind of scheduling conflict is this? Holy, that would never happen in hockey. Back to back to back games. I mean, maybe baseball because you get away with it. You couldn't do it in hockey. They'd be exhausted. Come on. Oh my God, with these losses, You're losing to teams like Edmonton. Come on. I mean, Phil the Thrill already has twenty-two goals. I mean, he almost has more goals than Getzlaff has assists. Come on, man. That first line is not clicking. I don't know if Grigorenko is ready to uh, hold down. The first line right wing spot just yet. Come on, boys. Get some wins. There you go. Don't lose two in a row. Exactly. Win one, or win two, lose one. Win two, lose one. I don't care about that. Come on, win this one. Win this one. Win two in a row. Let's go. Oh, my God. How are we only getting one goal per game? Where's our first line? Two goals in the game. Where's our first line? Guess, uh, and Kessel can't do it all. There we go. We're winning some games now. Thank God. Scouting assignments. Yeah, we'll keep him in the, uh, yeah, we're going to keep him in the WHL. There's a lot of first rounders in there. Uh, All-star break. There we go. Come on, get some more wins. Get some more wins. I don't want to go into the trade deadline thinking I need to make a move. I just, I think we have a good team. I want to keep it this way. Come on, Detroit. Oh, my God. Why can't we just go on a big winning streak? Oh, my God, with these losses, man. Look at this. See, this is what I'm talking about. We win all those games, but then it, get all, it gets all erased by those three losses in a row. Four losses in a row. Come on, man. What is going on? Oh, the simulation is crazy. It's five in a row. Holy crap, man. What? I don't understand. I, have no, I just do not understand this. Yeah, that's great. You can simulate. There you go. Look at this. Five in a row. This is this is what pisses me off. I mean, we win three in a row, right? And then we lose five five in a row. Give me a break, man. What kind of team are we? Are we a good team or are we a bad team? Holy crap. Oh, all right. So we'll check these stats here. Goals against average. Are we up there? No. James Reimer, once again. Why isn't James Reimer up there? For God's sake. Save percentage, is he up there? No. Wins, he's up there. Yeah, of course. Points. And look, once again. Our top line, Getzlaff, Giroux, or Grigorenko, nobody up there in the points. That's what's holding us back right now. Why don't we have that upfront scoring? We have depth scoring thanks to Phil Kessel. Come on, assists, are we up there? No, nowhere to be found. Okay, yeah, sure. Goals, nowhere to be found. So that first line is just not producing for us, boys. We are in fifth in the east. Oh, my God. So let's simulate up to the trade deadline here. Yeah, let's go all the way to the trade deadline. See if we can put some wins together here. See if we can be a 40-win team before the trade deadline. That'd be nice. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Come on, get some wins, man. If you add up our wins and our overtime losses and our regulation losses, we do not have that many more wins. Oh, my God. We're like 29 and 26. Give me a break, man. I don't understand. Like, 99 for offense, 100 for defense. They should really... Uh, 
give you more detailed uh, like uh, information on which, what helps you in the simulation. Like if there's actual actual line chemistry, if uh, the player types actually matter, they should really have a whole setup for that. Because it says on paper that my team is stacked. I don't understand. Come on, get some freaking wins. Is it all just the goaltender? He's not that bad, man. He's like 87 overall now, probably. Let's go. Get some wins. And now here come the wins in a row. Yeah, why not? Yeah, three in a row. Back to back to back days. Yeah, sure. This is what I mean. We're all over the four in a row now. See, we'll win four in a row, lose four in a row. Win six in a row, lose six in a row. Come on. If we're a good defensive team, we should always be able to squeak out an overtime loss. or, or Look, now we're losing two in a row. There you go. Oh, my God. It just makes no sense. We are all over the place. It's it's impossible to get a a good run going because then after the run is done, another five in a row we lose. Six in a row we lose. Come on. Ah, oh, it's a perfect example. Look at this. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now I'm about probably going to lose the uh, these next two as well. Come on. Against Buffalo. And they're a good team this year. Yeah, look at that. Come on. Oh, wow. We actually won. Unbelievable. Unbefreaking-leavable. And then we lose that one. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Jesus. All right, boys. So we're at the trade deadline here. I thought we'd be a lot better than we are. That's okay. Uh, 37, 23, and 7. At least we're in the playoffs. Goals against average, we're not up there. Save percentage, we are not up there. Wins, we're up there. Yeah, points, we are not up there. Good God. Assists, we are not up there. Goals, we are not up there. So that's the problem, boys. Our first line is just shit in the bed. Because we have two superstars up there and they cannot, they're not touching anything in the assist goals or points department. And that's what's pissing me off here. Eastern Conference, we're in fifth. We're only in fifth. We should be a lot better. We should be a lot better. So, what I'm going to do before the, how much time we got here? Alright, uh, before the trade deadline, I'll let you take a look at the stats, the player stats. Uh, where we're weak, and then I'll let you guys decide what we should change going into the trade deadline, because I think we do need a, tr uh, a change or two. I think we'll make the playoffs, but I don't know. I don't know. We, we need to bolster that first line, I think. Hang on. Uh, coaching options, team reports. All right. Yeah, look at this. Good God, man. We are a crappy team. Offensive, cold. Only 188 goals for this season. So our first line is not scoring goals. And look, our offensive rating is 100. Our defensive rating is 100. And our goaltending is 91. We're 97 overall, but yet our offense is cold, our defense is cold, our goalies are cold, our power play is cold, and our penalty kill is cold. So basically, we're cold everywhere, boys. All right? Jesus Christ. So we have to improve our power play, our penalty kill. There's the timer. We need to get more goals in general over the season. We need to stop more goals. I think that's, oh my god, I don't know what the hell is wrong with this. We have an, a stacked team out there, but it's just it's not working out. So maybe the chemistry, the lines, if that stuff does matter, because EA doesn't really let us know. Uh, stats. Go to player stats. We'll look at my team's stats, who's performing, who's not performing. Maybe change it up. Oh my god. Come on with the loading. Let's go. Look at these loading screens, man. Give me a break. All right. So we'll just go to points. Don't worry about goals or anything. So fill the thrill on our second line right winger is leading our team in goals and points. That is atrocious. All right. Because Getzlaff and Giroux, you guys should be producing a lot more than Kessel because you guys are working together. All right. And you have Grigorenko down there. So I don't, I don't like that at all. I look at our second line, though. Phil Kessel, Colburn, and Kadri. All right, those guys are producing, so the second line isn't a problem. All right, because that's our second line. Those guys are producing. Grigorenko, only 35 points in 67 games played. I don't know if I like that, boys. I don't know. Like, he's getting points. <clears throat> he's getting points, but it's it's not that much. He's only going to finish the season with, like, 42 points, 40 points on the first line. I think it might be time to send Grigorenko back down to the minors for this year, boys. I know. And trade for a first line right winger. An older guy so I can cut him loose at the uh, after the season. Because Grigorenko ain't getting it done. I could move Kessel up, but why? When he's making that second line click so much. It might just be time for Grigorenko. He's, he might not be uh, developed enough. I mean, he's got good offensive category, but I don't know. He's just he's not producing. I don't like that. For 20 goals is good, right? Fine. 
but I don't care for 35 points on the first line when get, you're playing alongside Getzlaff and Giroux. All, th all three of you guys should have at least 70, 75 points in a season. And Grigorenko ain't cutting it. He ain't cutting it, boys. So I'm going to point that out. Grigorenko, he is not cutting it, all right? Uh, don't worry about our third line, Jordan Stahl, Simmons, and uh, uh, Kuhlman. They're doing fine back there. They're doing fine back there. I have no problem with that. Uh, yeah, so I think it's just that first line position. Uh, we go to edit lines here. This is what I'm talking about. Giroud gets left. They're, they're doing great, but then I think an 83 sniper is holding them back a little bit. Imagine if they had an 86 or an 87 overall sniper with them. I think that would uh, make the line a lot better. So I think I might have to move Grigorenko down to the minors, boys, because I'm not going to move him down here anywhere. Everywhere, everywhere else is fine. Jordan Stahl, Simmons, Kuhlman, Kadri, Colburn, Kessel. That's all fine. I think it's just Grigorenko who would help bolster these two guys if we got someone else which would get our goal scoring going a lot more, I'm telling you. Defensively, we're fine. We're going to leave that for now. But the power play, we got to change this around as well. Maybe send Kessel down to the second line because he's doing so well down there. And then that first line right winger spot bring up here. Maybe Kuhlman's not good on the uh, the defensive side here. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys look at the lines again because it's the power play. It was the penalty kill. The penalty kill looks like this. I don't know why our penalty kill is not doing great. We got great players for the penalty kill. But it might just be James Reimer, right? Uh, we'll look at James Reimer. He's now an 87 overall, boys. He's getting better. Like, nah, man, look. You know, he's getting good. Another good playoff run this year. He'll be an 88, 89, maybe even 90 by next year. We're going to keep him. We're keeping him. So I think, boys, if I'm looking at the team, it's just this first line right winger spot. We might have to send Grigorenko down for one more year and pick up somebody for our playoff run. But let me know. Let me know. I want your opinions, all right? What should we do?